This year we have been able to raise uh, about uh, 3 million Kenya shillings, whereby this 3 million is divided into five uh, groups, whereby the first uh, thing we do is we divide this money into five groups, whereby 36% goes for mangrove restoration, 32% is for community development projects, 5% goes for office expenses, and 21% goes for community wages, whereby 6% is used by our brokers to do the marketing. Through the money which is raised through carbon credits, the 32% 32 is used to support community development projects. We have been able to support uh, some students in schools. We have been able to buy some furniture for dispensary. We have also been able to buy some books whereby some schools, they didn't have much books. So we decided as a community to donate this book to schools so that the children can have better education. Tumebenefit na miradi ya maji. Saizi ya tutembei long distance kuenda kutota maji mpaka huko. Tuko na tabs kwa manyumba ya fresh water. Yenye tunalipa lower charges ambazo zina support bill ya steamer peke yake. vile msitu vile ambavyo umenawiri hata hewa imekuwa ni safi katika vijiji hivi vyetu ambavyo viko karibu sana na msitu na misitu kwa hivyo hiyo pia ni dalili moja ya kufaidika na kufaidika pia zaidi ni kwamba kama misitu ya mangrove ndio ina ndio mazalio ama ndio ma, ma, mazalisho ya samaki na tunaona paka sasa kiasi cha miaka kumi, hivi sasa hata eh, samaki wamekuwa wameanza kuwa wengi kulivyo kuliko hapo nyuma ambavyo ilivyokuwa The yellowing of the plants is what is not normal and could be brought up by too, too little mineral or too much salt in the plant. But also the fungi and bacteria can affect the leaves to form the blights that and some necrosis that is the rotting of the, of, of the leaves which also forms now further forms into leaf spots which can be serious and leave the plant empty or naked without leaves.
see the level of infection. Mm. Today you've seen we have a lot of uh, that community being involved because they are the custodians. You know, they have indigenous knowledge. They live around these mangroves, and therefore they are the first beneficiaries of mangroves. If there's a loss in mangroves, their livelihoods are affected. Hey, when the kwa boat you put the lapo. Alapu de Evie.